Secretary, it's good to see you again. Thanks for being here. I need to walk through a couple of details in your budget. You have the um, information about the 30 by 30 or America the Beautiful Initiative, uh, setting aside 30 percent of the land in the United States for conservation purposes. Can you give us some additional details briefly on that as well? Uh, what is that all going to be voluntary? It seems to be a voluntary set aside of that land. Uh, is that your expectation? Uh, yes, Senator. Uh, in large part, yes. A any additional lands, uh, we're inviting um, private landowners, organizations, tribal nations to participate in that. And um, and it, uh, we've met with a number of, actually, many stakeholders. What what percentage of America's land is already set aside that you would say is already in that initiative? Um, I understand that. Um, it, it, Give or take, please don't quote me on this, but I think the land is around 18% perhaps and the oceans maybe 12 or it might be. So trying to be able to move that from that 18% to 30%, do you expect this to be in every state or region or do you expect it to be nationwide? I guess what I'm saying is, do you disproportionately expect the 30% of the land set aside to be in Alaska and Utah, let's say, and not as much as in New York State? Not at all. We we expect and have had overwhelming um, optimism about the idea of it being a nationwide effort. So this would be in each region, each state, you would expect that. For states that have uh, higher than 30 percent already set aside, would you expect them to be able to get down to a 30 percent goal at some point so they'd have more private ownership in their area? On those specific details, Senator, I... I can't answer, but I, I get your point, and uh, the conversations will absolutely continue on this issue. So, the, uh, but you do expect it to be voluntary. Uh, that is correct for 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 yes for private landowners, for ranchers, for farmers, for. Right. Indian I, I know. Tribes. I know. In my state, and there's five states total that are in the area. Of what's called the Lesser Prairie Chicken uh, area. Uh, they've done voluntary efforts to do mitigation protection of that species for quite a while. Um, and now there's been a step in to say, actually, we're going to now impose different measures uh, in there. Where we've had, for instance, in my state, a great rebound in population. Uh, there seems to be an assumption now that's not enough. Uh, that in other areas, it's not recovering well. But in your area, where it is recovering well in my state, uh, we're, there's still going to be kind of a heavy hand to be able to reach in and to impose this. So what started as voluntary measures is now seems to be flipping over to mandatory measures for that. Uh, which is pretty disheartening, obviously, for folks that have done voluntary measures for a long time and have seen tremendous recovery of that species to try to work, <clears throat> excuse me, to get it off of the endangered species or threatened list. That's pretty disheartening to be able to see that. Uh, the landowners in my area, <clears throat> excuse me, are asking for an additional six months to say, allow us to comment, allow us to show the information, there's data that's coming out literally right now while Interior is making their decision on what to be able to do. Uh, there's an annual study that's coming out, and that study is present. They need a little bit of time to be able to present it to everyone and say, don't take what's voluntary, suddenly turn it to mandatory before we can hand you this information. Is that a reasonable request, you think, for them to get a, a few more months in time to be able to hand over all their final information to you? I, I will certainly uh, take your request back, and, and we will absolutely consider it. As I said, you know, we're open to ideas and your feedback. They're not trying to be unreasonable. They're just trying to say, hey, you're closing this down before I can actually hand you that this information. That is unreasonable to them. Uh, they're looking for a few more months of time to be able to hand over the final report so they can show you what's actually happening in the population count there. Uh, the leasing activities, we've talked a little bit about this already, about the leasing activity that stopped um, and then now a court has said you can't just keep this stopped indefinitely. You had mentioned earlier, hey, it takes a while to be able to restart it. When will that restart? Uh, Senator, we are, as I said, we are working on it right now. We're complying with the court's order right now. Will, will it take a year? Will it take three months? Will it take, give us a guess. I, I think I will say soon. So in this quarter? Soon. Uh, I don't. I can't answer that specifically, but as I said, we are working on it, and uh, we're happy to stay in touch with you as we make the progress. So th there's just an expectation that when a court order stepped in and said, hey, this is not legal to just stop this indefinitely, that there's an actual going to be progress made towards this. We know there's an interim report that's coming out. We don't know when that's coming. Do you have an update of when the interim report is coming out? 
It, we, as I said, we're finalizing it internally at the moment, and uh, I can't say specifically, but I can say soon. It, it's in its final stages. And you'll expect a final report after that interim report? Um, Senator, I, we will be, we'll absolutely let you know when we approach that, um, that time frame, and uh, I can say soon. So there's a, a, an interim report that's soon, a final report that's soon. Do you expect the decision on lease sales after the final report or after the interim report or before? Well, after the report is, after the final report, the inner whatever report <laughs> is, is, is move forward, uh, we will be able to make, we will have made decisions and be able to implement whatever changes are um, perhaps necessary and move that forward. Soon. Soon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.